It is time to talk about Autel Robotics and what they're doing right in the drone world, including this little Autel Evo Light Plus, really a magnificent little drone. We're gonna talk about it, don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you hit like and subscribe if you like what we're talking about today. And today, we are talking about Autel Robotics. Now, usually on this channel, we're talking about enterprise drones. Drones like the Autel Evo 2 Dual 640T. Now, this drone, it's basically an Evo 2 that has a really high resolution thermal sensor and then that Autel 8K sensor also in here. So, really powerful drone really expensive drone, but this is what we're usually talking about. But what we're talking about today is the Autel Evo Lite Plus. Now I'm gonna be honest, Autel did send us this Autel Evo Lite Plus to test it out, but they have no say in this video or what we're about to say, and they're not gonna see the video before we post it, all that kind of good stuff. But this drone was released not too long ago. We've been putting it through the tests and we wanted to kind of compare it to DJI a little bit as well. We're gonna have more videos coming up where we do test out, especially the imaging. Like, can anybody tell the difference between a one inch sensor and the micro four thirds sensor that you got here on the Mavic 3. So we're gonna do tests like that in the future, but I wanna talk a little bit about Autel and sort of their history and now where they're heading. Now for several years, DJI has dominated the drone industry. They've got something like 70 to 80% of the drone industry around the world. But over the past several years, Autel has been inching up. They're starting to gain a little bit more of the market share. I think the last I saw they were at about 7%. Now that might not seem like a lot, but they're number two. So they have the second biggest share of the drone market right now. So I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but 7% is actually quite a bit. And honestly, Autel, I've in the past kind of written them off as just a copycat company because you know they had kind of a, a ripoff of the, the Phantom drone originally when that first came out. Then they had something that was much, much the original Autel Evo. It was very, very similar to the Mavic Pro. Then the Autel Evo 2 comes out. It's got some great features on it, including a longer flight time, no geofencing, all sorts of other stuff. Then the Mavic Pro 2 comes out. So we've started this sort of cycle of now they're one upping each other as opposed to in the past, Autel was kind of seen as they were sort of stealing ideas from DJI, but now it seems that it's, it's equal. It seems that DJI also sort of steal some things from Autel when their drones come out. So now we're all the way up to the Mavic 3. We've also got drones like the Mavic Air 2 and the Air 2S. Those are all really great drones in their own right, but Autel's now got something that is sort of a competitor for all of them. It's kind of an in-between drone. So this guy is similar in size to the Air 2S, and it also has this one inch sensor on it, just like the Mavic Air 2S. However, having flown both of them, I will say that this drone has superior image quality, especially at night. Uh, this thing does great with night shots. And we understand that this one is a little bit more expensive than the Air 2S, than the package you're gonna get with the Air 2S. I'll put the different prices up on the screen here. But we do think the image quality justifies that higher price. And while the Mavic 3 has that micro four thirds sensor on it, I still wonder if your average person is gonna be able to tell the difference between a one inch sensor and a micro four third sensor. They're both great, but you're paying a big premium for that Mavic 3 Pro if you want that micro four third sensor. This drone is also less expensive than the Autel Evo 2. So really a great job by Autel with putting this drone out right at the right time, I think too. So Autel has had their issues over the years. I mean, they lost a CEO that was only there for like a month. Uh, there have been times when I've really gotten my hopes up and then things have kind of fallen apart. Uh, but I think they're on the right track now. Finally, they've got this great drone and they've also got the Nano and the Nano Plus. I didn't talk much about those because I didn't get a chance to fly them. They look like they're going to be a good competitor to the DJI Mini 2 and possibly the DJI Mini 3 because I know this Nano and Nano Plus, the Nano Plus especially, has some features that are above the DJI Mini 2. Uh, so we'll see. I think DJI is going to come out with a, with a Mini 3 pretty soon and it will probably have many of the same features. Uh, that this Nano Plus has. So great job, Autel. You're rebounding. We love this little guy, the Autel Evo Lite Plus. This thing is fantastic. Pricing is up on the screen. Uh, if you're interested, give us a call. But really, you are not going to be disappointed by what you get in this uh, little package of a drone. Flies great. 
has great features. Again, they did send us this drone, but we made a promise years ago that we were not gonna put anything on our channel unless we actually believed in it. So if they had sent us this and we tried it out, we would have sent it back and never made a video about it. But because we got it, we tested it out. It's a magnificent piece of technology. So we wanted to tell you about it. All right, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.